So let me tell you a story. I uh, used to work with a pretty big influencer or a thinker of our time. And you know, he, he, he gave me this opportunity and I didn't deliver what he wanted. I didn't deliver, well at least, you know, we're not working together anymore. And from an email that he later sent, because he scraped the project and he started a new one. And from the email that he sent just now that I read, it was getting boring for him. It was getting, he doesn't feel the zest anymore. And I felt like, oh, that, that is, you know how you feel when your ex is moved on to someone better, like a better man, better able to fulfill her needs and things like that. And I, I, I think there is some of that as well. But there is also the fact that, you know, I didn't deliver and I wasn't good enough at what I thought I could offer. So there's a feeling of not good enough. Well, yeah, I mean, ultimately it's a feeling of not good enough. And I don't know why particularly this gentleman whole space in my head so much and I think it has to do with the fact that I think he's pretty cool and I want to be cool like him I want to be his mates I want to be his friends like in a circle you know and I'm not in it and I consider myself pretty cool <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that but you know I, I think of myself as a pretty cool guy for me I'm quite interesting for me and Yeah, it just, it feels like um, you're being left out of a party. It, just, it, it, it makes you feel bad, actually. It's like you listen to all this podcast and you're like, oh, dude, I really feel the conversations. Like if I were to jump in and I can chime in and talk about things. And I think that people, you know, I'll be, I'll be quite happy. So you see this big parties going on, people having fun, you know, and it's kind of like Christmas, Christmas Eve. I, I, I didn't have anywhere to go, right? Uh, on, on Christmas Day, I, I, my family is overseas, and you know, I don't have, really have that many friends who, who doesn't have other uh, commitment. So I felt bad. Like I feel left out by the by all the things that are going on. It's a festive season. There's so much happiness thrown around, and I, I can't. I don't have it. And it's an interesting experience to turn into a lesson, to really dissect in the face of this pattern where you're left out of something that's happening that you want to be a part of. What really can make you feel better and I think the, the solution that I came up with is your focus. Instead of focusing on the things that are happening, well, focusing on the things that are happening around you and to you. For example, I can still go out and get really good food. I can watch television and have a great laugh at all these shorts and TikTok. I mean, these are very, you know, low hanging fruits of short term pleasure, but I can go work out. You know, I feel great after a workout. And as you start compiling a list of things that you can do, then you realize life isn't so bad after all. Once you shift the focus, out of the things that you're missing out on and look at what you have going for you then you go well my life isn't so bad and they really do an autopsy of your life and then you go back and think about the best moments you have and for me it was recently when i went to um, a friend's wedding in malaysia with all my friends in hong kong oh man it feel i feel so good i feel so secure i feel so 
right. It, it felt right. It it was I was in the right place. The the guys I'm with they are they are my friends and we chatted, we joked. It was it was beautiful. And um I don't know if there's any more that you need. I don't know if you have to exercise effort and attention and go through the whole because you have to build up a threat like you have to build up shared experience like if you want to make new friends you have to build up shared experience um and and through that once you pass a certain threshold you become closer and closer and the bonds get strengthened that's kind of how it works right and i don't know if i want to go through that because i already have that granted it's not with the coolest to me they're pretty cool and maybe that's enough it's kind of like you know you, you make 10k a month and then you look at people like making 100k a month uh, or millions a month and you're like oh my god I, I, I look at them they're so you know I want to be them I want to be and then you look at yourself and go actually you know I, I kind of have enough and Yeah, yeah, so, um, this is just a thought that I had, and I figure I'll talk myself through it. And it's such a empowering feeling to know that you have enough. Like, you, you do have enough, and if you don't, you can do something about it. But, but I feel that I have enough. And when the circumstances change, when people, you know, when, when the environment or the universe signals to you that you don't actually have enough, that there's something you should be working on, well, then you work on it, right? So, yeah, that's it. And, um, and the significance of the story, I guess, is because I, I wanted to paint another story, right? Paint a story, and I think a lot of people would paint the story of, you know, you're mediocre, you had a great opportunity, and you botched it, and, and all that. But, but if you just look at it, let's say, differently, you examine a an alternative interpretation of the situation, then it becomes not as bad, easy to stomach, and it reveals some truth about the human experience, the fact that we we, uh, we feel like we're missing out, we feel like we don't belong, and there's pain associated with those, and that we don't feel enough sometimes, but all we have to do is shift our focus, and then we feel enough again, so, yeah, just figure I should share that.